Hey loves and welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday with AJ. For this Tutorial Tuesday, I'm actually gonna do something that was actually requested and someone requested that I do a wing eye look. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get into it because I kind of have to be somewhere at a certain time. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Intense Eyeliner. I've been using this eyeliner and um, first of all, it's waterproof. It's down, it literally lasts and it will not go nowhere. This eyeliner is like really, is pretty thick and it's really precise. Now in this video, I'm gonna show two different ways to um, get that perfect eyeliner, if you know what I mean. Um, the first way that I'm going to show is going to be like a dots method and then the second way is just like a way that I typically just do it when I'm in a rush and I need to go somewhere, nothing special. So I'm going to do the dots method, I'm going to do the dot method on this eye first. So what I do is, or what you should do, is you want to put a dot where you want your wing to end. So that's your first dot. Then you wanna put a dot right there where your eye ends. If you know what I mean, like that that area right here where your eye ends. I don't know what it's called. And then you wanna put another dot right above that one. And if you need to look down, go ahead. Do what you need to do in order to get your dots. And these two dots, you wanna connect them. Typically, I would pull my eye just a little bit to actually get the, um, like to actually get it more precise, but I can't because I'm holding a mirror. And um, what you wanna do is you wanna go from the dot that's on top of the dot that's near your eye, the ending of your eye. You wanna bring that dot in a diagonal triangle. So you kind of create a, a right angle triangle, if you know what I mean. Now, after you create your right angle triangle, you just want to like go on your eye, like, like you're about to apply lash glue in a sense. And you just want to make it really thin. And you want to connect that area where you meet your your inner corner of your eye to the area where you stopped from your right triangle and you want to connect that but you want to make it as thin as possible as if it's like not even there and for the triangle we're just going to go in and fill that in Now, after that's all filled in, it looks like a right triangle with a dot in the corner, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna take that dot and you wanna connect it to the bottom of your eye. Like I said, I typically will pull my eye a little, but I can't. So this may not be the best, but it did come out pretty good. And then you wanna connect the top part I mean, you, you want to connect that same dot to the top part of your eye. And then in the sense, just like fill that in. Now I learned this method from Google and I also seen a YouTube video, it's funny, right? And then um, for this eye, I'm just gonna show you how I basically would do it. I'm gonna try to make it look as good as this one, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But let's see, I just typically just go in and I make a straight line from the eye, from the ending of my eye, I make a straight line, as straight as possible. I go in as high as I want. Some people like long wings, some people like short ones. It all depends on how you're feeling and what you wanna go for. And then I just go in and do that same right triangle, but instead of doing it from this area, from the where my eye ends, I'm gonna go in from the top, from where the wing is at and start the right triangle there. Now 
Now this one's a little bit more thinner than this one. So I'm gonna like bring it down to the middle of your eye. And you wanna do the same thing that you did for this eye when you um, like apply it, like act like you're applying eyeliner. I mean, not eyeliner, um, glue for your mascara. And you wanna make it as thin as possible. You wanna go as close to your lashes and make it as thin as possible. Anything that's not filled out, you wanna fill it in. And then just to make the, just to make them look even, because they're clearly not even, you want to, well, I'm just going to like fold this up just a little bit. So with that being said, that is how you do a winged eye look. And um, because I need to go somewhere, I'm going to go and I'm going to see you guys in my next tutorial Tuesday. Always remember that if you have anything that you um, want me to do tutorial on, always either DM me on Instagram, um, comment on one of my YouTube videos. Um, um, basically, find any way to contact me and let me know. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Tutorial Tuesday. And one last thing before I go, um, all Tutorial Tuesdays videos are going to be uploaded on YouTube from now on. So you can definitely go check it out on YouTube as well. So with that being said, thank you for watching Tutorial Tuesday with AJ and hope to see you guys next week in my Tutorial Tuesday.